Hi everybody, my name is Claire Curry. I'm a science librarian here at the University of Oklahoma. In another installment of Options for Remote STEM Research, we're going to continue looking at using existing data sets. In videos 20 through 24, we're going to talk about common data sources for the STEM departments that we at university libraries cover. Before we get into specific data sources for departments, we're going to talk a little bit about searching for, in general for data. We talk about searching in general in videos 9, spatial data set searching, and video 13, literature searching. So the strategies are going to be similar. To find data repositories, so that'd be kind of the equivalent of finding a database, you want to start really broad with big categories because most repositories are going to hold different kinds of data. Then narrow it down once you're in the repository to get something more specific to your research. If you're going to find data associated with papers, your strategies are going to be really similar to what you do to search for literature. Um, in this case, you may want to start narrower and then broaden it out to get a suitable number of data sets. In the next four videos, we'll hear from all four STEM librarians about specific data repositories and sources in their field. This will be Amanda Schilling for mathematics, meteorology, and physics and astronomy, Brent Tweedy for chemistry and biochemistry, health and exercise science, and psychology, Claire Curry, that's me, for biology, geography and environmental sustainability, and microbiology and plant biology, and James Bierman for aviation, engineering, and geology and geophysics. This is a great time to book an appointment with your subject librarian. We can help you search for data or learn about repositories that may be more specialized for your area of research. We'll have a live Q&A for these data source videos on July 22nd, 2020 at 11 to 11.30 Central Daylight Time. I'll be joined by my fellow STEM librarians, Amanda, Brent, and James, who I just mentioned. Registration is required to get the Zoom link. You can go to libraries.ou.edu slash events and look for the July 22nd event, which has the registration info. More videos in the series, as well as announcements about our live events and workshops, are available on Twitter, as well as the Davis listserv, which is at libraries.ou.edu slash Davis. You can view past videos in this series at bit.ly slash OUSTEMYT. Please contact me if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for joining us and stay safe out there.